What's up, sports bettors? Matt Modai here with Achim. And in this video, I'm going to give you a strategy of what to do when you have a free bet. You see this happen a ton in sports betting. Sports books will give you free bets, sometimes normally between like five to 25, sometimes up to like 100 to just reward users, offer them promos to get them to keep using their app, stuff like that. It's not a trick, it's not a scam. They're just trying to get people to use their app. So I think in general, losing the mindset that any sportsbook promotion or boost inherently is a scam or they're trying to trick you or something like that, I think is a flawed logic. All the sports books want to do is get users on their app. Offering promotions and boosts is a way to do that. So in this video specifically, I'm going to be giving you a strategy of what to do when you have a free bet. Not a risk free bet, but what to do when you have a free bet. So I have one on FanDuel, it's only for five bucks, so it's not a huge one. But one thing that I like to do is just put a ridiculous parlay together. So I ended up putting a five leg parlay, five to win 150. It's a free bet, so if it loses, I don't lose anything. If it hits, I make 150 bucks, that's pretty nice. So this one has been placed. So I'll get to my selections of what I put in the parlay in a little bit. The way it works is I just like to go to Odds Jam, go to the positive, expected value page, filter the sports book specifically uh, for this, or filter specifically for the sports book that I have the free bet on. In this case was FanDuel. And then um, I filtered the sport to football, was hoping to find a college football and NFL parlay. But as of right now, FanDuel didn't have anything for college football. So this one is just an NFL parlay, but still a nice five leg par parlay, five bucks to win 150. I'll take those odds any day of the week. I will say, I had a horrible, horrible beat yesterday in the Thursday night football game. So if I go that, go there for a second, go to my settled bets. Look at this parlay that lost. It was plus 1100 odds. Everything hit except for the alternate under. We took the under 41 and a half. If you remember, the Browns scored a touchdown on the literal last play of the game when the Steelers were trying to just um, lateral, or yeah, when the Steelers were trying to just lateral the ball. So that a horrible, horrible beat having this one lose but all of these plays were found using odds jam using the positive ev tool to find positive expected value bets to put into a parlay so this beat was awful it was devastating i had chalked this up to a win i thought i was going to get it was like 25 to win 300 something like that i thought i was going to get it i didn't that's how it goes with sports betting but i ended up finding one positive EV parlay that I locked in, finding all these plays on Odds Jam, locking them in on FanDuel. So to talk about it in general, the way positive expected value betting works is uh, you're basically getting an edge over the sports book you're placing the bet on when you place a positive expected value bet. Odds Jam calculates the no big odds based on thousands of data being back tested to determine what the sharp sports books are, which ones do a good job of pricing odds, and then remove the VIG to get the true line of what the market is priced at. So there are five plays here that were on FanDuel specifically, right? Because I filtered it, that I locked into the parlay. Uh, the first one, Cowboys first half spread plus a half. The next one, a lot of first half plays uh, was the Seattle Seahawks versus Falcons first half under 20 and a half. The third one, another underplay, Ravens versus Patriots under first half under 22 and a half. Panthers plus 1.5 spread. Admittedly, this one makes me nervous because I, for handicapping reasons, like the Saints a lot in this one. But in terms of math, I'll never go against math. So I added the Panthers plus one and a half at plus 112 odds. And then Nico Collins, receiver for the Texans, longest reception over 18 and a half. So this one was locked in. If I scroll through, I have a bunch of free bet parlays as well, but this is the one that I just locked in. So I'll provide a screenshot of this at the end of the video so you can tell that as well. But in general, what to do with a free bet, find a bunch of positive expected value bets on Asham Filter, specifically for the book that you have the free bet on, and just parlay, parlay them all together. Since it's free, you don't have any risk of it losing, so you might as well aim for the stars. So that's it. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.